Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we are back in Satisfactory again today at a special time. Uh, it's 10 a.m. for me. I don't normally stream this time of day, but I'm driving my father to the airport later. Uh, he and his partner are going on a cruise vacation and so uh, I need to be available for that. So my one o'clock stream time just wasn't going to work. So I thought, you know what, let's try something new. Let's jump in at 10 o'clock in the morning and see who's on Twitch. Uh, and a bunch of regulars are on Twitch. It turns out Kel Birdie, Sweet Sandy, Loki Loki is here already. Uh, once again, great to see you all. Hope everyone's having a good Monday. Not Monday. It's not Monday at all. It feels like Monday. So at 10 a.m. on Mondays, I record the Spawn Chunks. This is a Wednesday. It's the middle of the week. It's the middle of October. What the crap? How is it? going by so fast. Uh, working and lurking has its perks. I agree, Loki, uh, and I encourage the working and lurking. Cal, good to see you. How's it going? Hope things are well. Loki says, live, laugh, and Loki. <laughs> your, your entry messages, Loki, never seem to uh, disappoint. Uh, I'm good, thanks, Cal. Yeah, yeah, very well. Uh, we're going to work on the Mirage train line today. Uh, some blue and white happening with some hover hover pads um, sub suspending the train line. Um, and I'm not sure how I'm going to make this the train station look more sci-fi. I'm not exactly sure if the, if the current train station at Wheeljack is going to stay where it is, so I'm not going to decorate it right away. Um, I do want to sort out where we're going to build our... Um, circuit boards and computers though we need to do that sandy says puppy and dinner stuff is what's up i'd imagine the puppy is keeping you quite busy has it been a week yet has, has the puppy been with you a week sandy i don't know if it's quite quite been that uh let's jump into the game I didn't quite catch the hours. I think we're at 110 hours now. Tomorrow is one week. Right on. How old is the puppy? Is it 10 or 11 weeks? Did you get it right when normally puppies go home? Normally they go home around 9 or 10 weeks, right? At least around here. 9 weeks. 9 weeks today. Oh, wow. Cool. Well, that's kind of cool to remember. Like, you kind of got the puppy right when it was, um, like, like, on the puppy's week kind of milestone that's cool so uh we were working out the back here yesterday i'm experimenting with a little bit more detail i added some green and stuff here on the back slowly kind of making this look a little bit nicer i'm also messing around with having a window stick out on the back here. I'm not entirely sure I like it. Uh, it doesn't really mesh very well with what's happening here, but it is it is cool looking. So we may we may continue with that. We'll have to see. Um, I am currently working on getting more quartz for these because these require 44 quartz crystals every time we build one. Um, but this is what we worked on yesterday. We laid out the foundations, which you can see in the distance. So we've got the concrete foundations going all the way to the uh, oil and plastic and rubber. And then we have these hover pads that are kind of sci-fi imagination and keeping the train up. So we don't have to do stuff like this everywhere and put like structures. Uh, I'm doing this just because this will eventually be a structure. I just don't know how exactly we're going to do that. Um, one thing I would like to try to do though is in the blueprint designer, design a single hover pad. I think that could be quite useful, but I think what we'll do to start is probably just lay more track, which means I should probably make sure that we need to build another train, I guess, for starters, and um, bring some steel with us. Uh, one, two, three, four. Plus we've got stuff in the depot. Yes. And I've got lots of gas, lots of crystals. 
We'll see what else I've got for crystals. We might have more over here. Oh, I should maybe think about setting up some quartz. We might need a quartz run here. That might be the more time efficient thing to do. Ah, we're doing okay. I'll put the rest of this in the machine. So this will at least turn into crystal while we're gone. Plus, I should be able to pull down quartz from the depot. Yeah. And I've got this cranked with uh, power shards. So this is doing 56 per minute. So every minute we can build another, another uh, hover pad. So that's cool. Dan, good to see you. Welcome in. Jay Chris, good morning. I hope we're having a good week so far. We're having a fantastic week. Uh, yesterday on stream, we hit a level five hype train. There was a number of the cool new stream stickers used, uh, and it was just fantastic. Uh, it was a wonderful way to start off the week. Uh, incredible support from a, a bunch of people. Some very generous donations. Like it was just a really lovely way to start the week. Um, plus, uh, if uh, if Loki Loki doesn't mind me uh, giving them a brag. Uh, Loki Loki is now an engaged human. They popped the question to their partner on the weekend and announced it on stream. It was very cool. Uh, Joel, with all these Transformers references, were you a Beast Wars fan? I was indeed a Beast Wars fan. I was a little old to be a Beast Wars fan. Beast Wars was on when I was in university, but uh, I really liked it. Yeah, I actually have some of the toys. Uh, I really like the Transmetal toys. I didn't like the original toys, but I, I've got some of the Transmetal toys. Optimus was kind of dumb, but I really liked Megatron, Black Arachnia, um, Trench, 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 what's his name? Tarantulas, I think was the bad, one of the bad guys. Fresh coffee. Cheers. Uh, Beast Wars Caliberti was a Transformers cartoon. Yeah, it was um, made in Canada. It was out in BC, I think. But it was um, set in like the prehistoric times when Transformers from the future went to the past on Earth. And they were uh, animal Transformers. So they were like apes and rats and cheetahs and rhinos and uh, dinosaurs and all that stuff. Never too old to enjoy cartoons. No, I agree. I Well, so Kel, some people don't know this. Um, I worked as an animator uh, for six or ten years. And I, um, I went to school for fine art, and I was, uh, a, uh, I worked in TV animation for six years. I did my own stuff for another few, and then I worked as an illustrator and a cartoonist for the better part of twenty years. Um, it was only recently that I switched over to content creation and podcasting. Up until even just like two years ago, I was still doing graphic design work. Yeah, Beast Wars was okay. It, it, it has its moments. Um, I really like the Cybertron series on Netflix right now. Um, it's an anime. It's like a mini series. It's very, very boxy, but the story is really good. And it, they lost me a little bit when they included the Beast Wars in it. But other than that, like it was, it was really well done. I quite liked it. Um, I think we're just going to go. We need to make a train. Do I need computers for those? I probably do. No. But I do need computers for trains, I think. No? Okay. So we may have to... Hmm. I wonder what's going to be the easiest way to do this. I'm not sure if it's going to be easier to do this with a train. The sooner or later the train's going to come back and we're going to have to get out of the way. Maybe I'll work on the other stuff first. The stuff not over the void. I 
We'll work our way backwards. Where is the other train? Oh, there it is, there. It's staring right at me. This is not rendering in. Weird. Yeah, I don't want to lose anything either. I'm, I'm still on the fence about turning inventory on. I feel like I should probably do that. So once I get past this point... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. One thing I have not done yet, which I should do, is create like an offshoot here to like park a construction train. That's probably a good idea. Let's do that now while I think about it. I could use this space, I guess. Um, but for now, let's do a little offshoot here. Let's go here, actually. Just in case we want to bring a train full of goodies out here. I did this at my other build too, in the other save, and it was nice to be able to like basically park a train. Basically have like a mobile um Is that not gonna work? Or am I in the way? So I have to go from here? Not expecting that. be useful in the future. Always gets me how pretty this game is. I, I agree, Cal, uh, Cal, yeah. it. I really wish I took advantage of it more. I wish I had a better computer for it. Look, I saw this online the other day, and I, I can't believe that I've been uh, able to do this, but I've not really bothered. All these power slugs, you know how you can handcraft a power slug in your inventory and turn it into a power shard? Well, uh, if you use the summer sloop in a machine, you get double. So you get 10 power shards for one purple power slug instead of five. So for anybody starting out this game, only craft the power shards you need. And then when you have access to summer sloop and the alien technology, double them. Like... I've crafted 40 power shards. I could have 80 right now or 120. I don't know. I could have so many. Uh, you saved some of your power slugs, Sandy? Smart. Like, you are laughing. You're in really good shape. So I think this is where the structure is going to be. Um, and I think the closest... Yeah, I think this is going to be where we put the first hover thing. And this is all pretty straightforward. Like, you just use the blueprint designer, grab the hover thing, snap it in place. You've been facing them that way. And then just hit H. Uh, oh, 
Why does that have... That shouldn't have... No block signals. Ah, I grabbed the wrong one. You can also snap them in this way. Which is trickier. And then once you have it, you can delete the stuff. So this is technically where the next one could go, but I think this is going to be some sort of structure here. So we'll make this look like a actual thing. If it stays, I think it's going to stay. Really, the problem is that um, I don't know what's happening over here for our permanent plastic and rubber. It's weird that you don't make any noises when you're walking on rails. You do when you're on concrete, but then when you're on the rails, nothing. Let's put this in a different spot. Nice that the arrow kind of um, facing the front of the blueprint designer. That's what the little white arrow means. It's kind of like where that where the kiosk is in the blueprint designer. Um, gives you an indication for where you're going to put it. Nice center marker. Now, I don't think I have enough going on. I guess we sort of see reflections, but my graphic settings are not high enough that the reflections of the water are going to be super cool. So... In other screenshots, it might look better. Hey, work and lurk for Cosmic Dancer. Thanks very much, Cosmic. Good to see you. Dan, you saved all the purple ones? Man, you're laughing. You are in good shape. Does anybody else notice that uh, the sunrise is very smooth, but the sunset, there's like a weird pop where it goes like everything turns red. It's really bizarre. Oh, crap. Hopefully this won't take too long. I've got this bad habit of, in this game of getting partway through an idea visually but if it's functioning i feel very comfortable walking away from it and so mirage uh, not mirage um wheeljack isn't really finished i've not done decorating it but i really want to get circuit boards and stuff because i feel like some of the things i want to do we need to be in the, the end of phase three It's so nice that these blueprints are things that you can delete in an entire blueprint mode. So if you screw up placing one, it's not the end of the world. It makes you a lot less precious about it. Am I the only one that tries to walk onto my Zoop Foundations before I've hit the button to build? Uh, we were just talking about that the other day. Somebody in chat was just like, I'm never going to get used to the fact that you're walking out onto the orange kind of like build animation and you're still like in the air. I think it's just because on stream I'm trying to get a lot done because I don't really play the game uh, outside of outside of stream. There's, there's a couple times when I log in to do some screenshots and I end up like maybe playing for half an hour, but it's more like tidying things up. The bore I do the boring stuff that I don't want to do on stream sometimes off camera. Um, but a lot of the time, the only time I get to play games 
and do stuff like this, whether it's Minecraft or Satisfactory, is live. And so I'm always trying to get a lot done. I think that's one of the reasons I tend to like um, miss some stuff in chat sometimes because I'm trying to focus on getting a lot done in the game. But then I don't stream usually f like some people for like eight hour days. Like I just, my streams are usually between three and five hours. Lo it's They've been longer for Satisfactory just because the game I find I need to log in four to five hours to feel like I've done anything. I find a two or three hour satisfactory stream. I don't feel like I've really done much. Whereas in in Minecraft, like I really feel like I can get a lot done. Even in two hours, I feel like I can get a lot done in, in Minecraft. It looks pretty cool. I like it. The mist really helps. Let's sell the idea. Bali! Hello, hello. Hope you're having a good morning. Or I guess, I don't know where you are in the world, Bali. Don't mind sharing. Is it morning, afternoon, night? What's going on? I guess I could just delete them from there, couldn't I? Afternoon for Bali. Bali is somewhere in the Europe's. Or at least across the ocean. Because, like, I'm outside of Newfoundland. I'm as early as you can get in North America. I remember someone was discussing this in chat the other day. I was talking in my own time zone. And people were like, wait, what, what time is that for me? Uh, I should be UTC minus four hours. Uh, Atlantic time, so I'm one hour ahead of New York, one hour ahead of Eastern. So if it's if it's 9:30 Eastern, then it's 10:30 for me. The Netherlands, very cool. GMT plus two. Wow, there's a good six hours between us. That's wild. No, five hours between us. Am I GMT minus three right now? Hold on. Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe I won't get out of the the game when I'm on the tracks where something is coming. I am UTC minus three. Sorry, I misspoke. Apparently UTC minus three. It will be minus four. Um, in a couple of weeks. Yeah, when does the time change? Hold on. Um, twenty twenty five. November third. We go back an hour. So November third, it'll be plus minus four again. It's eerie when you're walking in this game and there's no footsteps. I think it happens on hypertubes as well. Man, everyone do yourself a favor if you're playing this game and set yourself up custom hotbars. Man, does it make a world of difference. I really wish I knew what was going on with the trains. I wonder what setting that is to get the trains to render in better. Foliage light. View distance, maybe? Medium? Maybe we'll try pushing that. Upscaling. Blah, 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 blah. Conveyor belt. Render distance. Did that actually stick? Uh, 111 hours. I was right. Yeah. Excellent. 
M, hello, good to see you. DJ Crazy Gaming, welcome in. Hope you're having a good morning so far. I feel like bad. I feel like I've been saying UTC minus four for the whole summer when I should have been saying minus three. People have been showing up late to my streams like, what a minute you said? Uh-oh. Out of quartz, it says, this is where I should try to put some quartz in the um, depot. Uh, I guess we'll just build a train and go back the other way. I'd say we're about halfway done. You only learned today that you can replace conveyor belts by clicking on them with a different belt selected. Oh, you can do that with all kinds of stuff. Uh, if you are looking at a wall or a window or a buildable that has multiple buildable types, uh, you can either directly click on it and replace it or you can control click on it and replace it. It's very handy. And that is why I wish they would allow you to, like, exit on the top of the train. Yeah, so, like, if I have a wall here, and say I want to grab this wall, if I hold control, it replaces the wall. And that works with, like, windows, too. Like, if I have that window and I want a different window there I can place it on top or replace it just holding control give me all of the crystals please thank you we are very low on plates Man, having this storage system was one of the best decisions I made. Makes life so much easier. What are we supposed to be building in the background here? Circuit boards? Yes. We are out of plastic. Good thing I have a ton right over here. And they're going to back up. Oh no, they've got room in here. Unfortunately, we've got like a mixed bag of stuff happening. Uh, what's this supposed to be doing? This is supposed to be doing... High-speed connectors. Quick wire. That's cable. Require and circuit boards. So I have the quartz. Now I need to get more quartz, which I should be able to pull down from here. 
but only 200 at a time. Uh, Ashrith, thanks very much for the pop follow. Really appreciate it. Uh, and Ash Poker, I'm sure unrelated, followed overnight. Very cool. Thank you. There's lots of uh, content out there right now, folks. If you are interested in uh, the Spawn Chunks podcast, there's a new episode of the Spawn Chunks out right now. That's at thespawnchunks.com or wherever you find your podcasts. There is also uh, a new episode in the Hopper. Uh, being edited for the Citadel Cafe. That's sci-fi and fantasy entertainment. And there's an episode of myself and Johnny from the Spawn Chunks talking with Imp and Skiz on the Imp and Skiz podcast. And that's over on YouTube or wherever you find your podcasts. And we are uh, talking behind the scenes about how we make the podcasts, how we structure our work days, how we work from home, all that kind of stuff. It was a really fun conversation. Ashrin. Ashrith, sorry, no N, 1996. Welcome in. Thanks for saying hi. Uh, M, thanks very much. I'm glad that you enjoy the Ibn Skiz podcast. We did too. Bali says, for once I'm able to watch your stream on the second monitor while working. Usually your stream starts around the time I start making dinner. Yeah, so I'm early today. Uh, I mentioned at the start of the stream, I've got to drive my father to the airport. Um, my father and his partner, actually. Um, they were going on a on a vacation. I feel like I can see the train a lot farther away now, and I like that better. I was over here, I think. Yes. I'm really glad we put these little like LED lights on the mid track. I think it, it's it helps be able to see what's going on as you're looking down the track. Works quite well. Uh, we'll run for fun as I've been listening to you guys since 113 and learned some new things about both on Impus Kids in that episode. Oh, really cool. What what was news to you? What was the what was the new stuff? I don't mind spoilers. The show's been out for like a week. No, actually, it hasn't been out for like a week. And not to brag, but like, uh, Imp and Skiz do a really good podcast, and it gets a lot of downloads. If anybody is on YouTube right now, what's the what are the what are the downloads? What are the views on the YouTube um, version of the show? Last I checked, it was like thirty four thousand in three four days. Let's not get run over. Please and thank you. Exciting a vacation for them. Safe travels. Yeah, they go on cruises actually quite a bit. Um, they're at that age where a lot of their friends are having like birthday milestones. Um, so whenever a friend in the group has a big birthday, you know, like a 70 or a 75 or sometimes it's a wedding anniversary. They just they all get together and go on a cruise. And so I don't know whether this one is. I mean, um. Phyllis's birthday was just Sunday, so this is partially like a birthday cruise. And then there's other people that have other milestones as well. So they kind of group it all together. It's cool. Uh, my father has had the same group of friends. And I think, I mean, Phyllis knew them separately before that too. Um, since, I mean, I want to say in some cases, the better part of 40 years? No, more than that. Probably close to 60 years for some of them. Which is really wild. Uh, we'll run for fun. Today is your 49th birthday. Next year freaks you out a little bit. Look, the nines are always weird. I don't know why I don't mind the big zeros. It's the it's the nines that are weird. And I find uh, as we get older, the fives are also strange. 
Uh, I think it's because you're going through that mid that mid decade hump. You're like, wait a minute, I'm now officially halfway through this decade. I thought I just started this decade, and yet here I am in the midst of it going away. Where is that train? Oh, it's coming. I usually follow the Impensis podcast on YouTube, but this episode I listened to on Spotify because that was released a couple hours earlier. Yeah, they do the audio show earlier. Uh, 38K, says Sandy. That's incredible. For, for, for reference, uh, that's just the YouTube. That's got nothing to do with their um, podcast download metrics. And the Spawn Chunks podcast, we do roughly 30 to 35 to 40K a month. There's four episodes in a month of the Spawn Chunks. So for having one episode do that well, it's fantastic. We've had a lot of new people. I've had a lot of new people in the Twitch chat come over from Imp and Skiz. Uh, I don't know who it was yesterday, but somebody somebody in stream yesterday found me on Twitch because of Satisfactory. And they were watching me play Satisfactory. And then somewhere in the middle of the chat, they just kind of went, wait a minute. I just realized who you are. You're Joel from the Spawn Chunks. I just watched your interview on the Imp and Skiz podcast. And now I'm just like randomly watching you on on Twitch because of course they were thinking Minecraft and Spawn Chunks podcast and they weren't thinking Satisfactory. I don't believe I even mentioned Satisfactory in the Impet Skiz video. It was mostly uh, either podcasting or Minecraft related questions and, and stuff. Oh crap. Wrong button. I was expecting to, to have that happen more often, you know? I like it when these things are simple. A lot of times I get carried away with nudging stuff around. And it creates a really tedious build process, but this is actually really straightforward. For something as large as your rail lines, anything that you can do to make this a straightforward process, I think is a real, real benefit. Now here's the scary part where we get rid of the curves. Because they're a little bit trickier to get back. I guess we can always build out from from these. I just have to remember. Yeah, so we can't go straight out from this. We have to go curved from that particular section. To make sure that this is on the right. I definitely don't want to get hit by a train out here. Gosh, that looks cool now. Birthday bits for Will Run for Fun. Yeah, happy birthday, Will. I, I, don't, I think I got in, right into talking about aging and how weird it is, and I forgot to say happy birthday. It's very, very cool. It was today, right? Yeah, today. Happy, yeah, happy birthday. I find that happens to me sometimes on stream when I've got something I'm doing and then something happens in chat like sometimes I just the normal social cues don't compute and I'm like wait a minute I probably should have said happy birthday and I might have but then I don't remember whether I did So how does this look for curves? I think that looks pretty good. Now that those blocks are, are gone, that feels really smooth, eh? I like it. Sweet Sandy, thank you very much for the 100 bits. Appreciate it. Leave a parallel pa platform on the end until the very end. Yeah, that's you know what? That's not a bad idea. That is not a bad idea. I almost botched that jump. Let's do that on this side. Because it's nothing to delete stuff in this game. And I have more than enough concrete on me. Which reminds me, I should get some more quartz. Ah! 
How do you stay on grid with your curves? You don't. Um, the thing is, once you know how to get back on grid, getting off grid is not as much of a concern. Uh, the issue that you should be concerned about with your curves is not whether you're on the horizontal grid, but whether or not you're on the vertical grid. So yesterday on stream, I covered that when I made the, um, the offshoot to the plastic and rubber. But as long as you're on this vertical grid, you can get back on no problem. Especially if you're doing any kind of stuff with rails that involves stuff like this where there's nothing underneath them. You can get back on grid uh, without really anything looking like you're off grid. Um, it's just a matter of figuring out what the angles are. Actually, there's a good example back there too. Next time we're back at the at the um, wheeljack factory, I'll show you. I feel much safer now, thank you. I don't know why I didn't think about this. Smart chat is smart. Actually, here's a good example. You could probably just use this. Right? So if this let's just say that this is on grid and this is not, then at least we know that this lines up. Right? So if you had a belt here. Right? And this is one of your grids, and this is another grid. These are very much not the same, right? But let's say you wanted to have um, the belt come and go this way. Then you can just line it up as best you can, right? And just be like, uh, maybe there. And then engage that straight mode. And then bang. You're back on grid. It's not always perfect, and you can mess around with what looks better. Straight mode versus not. I think they kind of look... Oh, did I change it? I don't know if I changed it. So in that case, actually, the default mode looks better. I find that going off grid to on grid, you might find that you have to play with it. But, like, that's an off grid angle, and then you could line that up with other, other things. So... The hard part is getting something that's vertically off grid back on grid. Uh, and what I try to do when I'm building is always go in increments of four or two meters because your belts move in four or two meters. And if you go in increments of one meter, you're going to have issues with like your lifts don't line up, like all that kind of stuff. Does that make sense? Love the train in the water so it looks like something crashed. Uh, leave a train in the water. Oh, that's interesting. That would be a cool idea. What am I doing for quartz here? Oh, we only have room. We only have one more. I guess I'll just do this one and then I'll, I'll head back. So this, I'm a little, I'm not sure... This feels close. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. Actually, you know what? That's not bad. We should probably just include this one. Basically, I'm trying to include a hover pad every 12 foundations or every time the track changes direction is the main goal here. I really, so if, can one of my mods in mod chat throw me a note to say, uh, get that Johnny Cash song about the train. I hear the train they're coming. I feel like that would be a great custom sticker. I'm not sure how we could get around copyright on that. It might have to be like a really short snippet. I don't know if there's a text to speech, uh, Johnny Cash impersonation thing that would be kind of fun not in the stream there's no nothing in the stream stickers but i wonder if there's just something on the internet that exists that i can make a custom sticker out of 
Folsom Prison, thank you. Right. I should know that. I'm trying to learn some blues on guitar, and there's a couple of songs that are on my list to learn. You don't feel safe up this high, Cosmic? Really? You're not liking this? I don't enjoy it over the waterfall, I have to say. It's not my favorite. This is just eerie. The no footsteps, and then you hear like clunk, clunk, clunk. Right there, <laughs> when you go over the hover pad. Well, hopefully we'll get everything done with the crystals. If not, we're gonna have to, we really need to start thinking about how to get the crystals into the um, dimensional depot. I keep on wanting to say cloud. When I know that's technically what it is, but. So where's another, there's another one here. We go off grid to the side here too. And I've removed I've removed the platforms, but this is on grid with uh, our build. And this is on grid with uh this is a on the curve. So there's a there's a curve here that puts this whole thing off grid. And so this here is a transition right there back to being on grid. And like, once you've removed the foundations, like you cannot tell. I don't know what to design for that. That's gonna be challenging. We're almost done. Highly recommend C6 Steve as a blues artist. Loki, that's amazing. Can you throw that into the Discord with a link? That would be fantastic. Actually, well, yeah, I mean, feel free to share a link here. You're a sub, you should be able to share a link. Um, but also uh, in the Discord, I Discord is the best way for, to get, to ta like tag me in it. I don't know if we have a music channel. Um, I've been watching a lot of Justin Johnson. He does uh, Delta Blues and he is phenomenal. Uh, he also has a course where he's teaching and I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna sign up for it. It's like 25 US a month or something. Slowly but surely, removing my confidence as we travel along this line. I don't mind the pixelated water. I think it's actually kind of... It looks better than the water ever has in the game, that's for sure. The sound is also fantastic. Overall, I think the sound design of the game is actually pretty good. Uh, there was a patch, by the way, uh, yesterday. I don't know if I got the auto update for when I played yesterday. I still noticed a lot of bugs yesterday. Uh, but there's definitely been a lot of fixes. Important message from Cosmic. They said, oh, I can't say that in polite company, Cosmic. How can I make this family friendly? Beep, beep, I said, don't beep. Look, beep down. There, that should do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man I love the idea of you talking to Claptrap Cosmic, that's just priceless, uh, thank you for the 200 bits and the Claptrap sticker, that that TTS Claptrap is spot on Like it, it really does sound like Claptrap I clip a lot of these stickers, by the way, folks. If if you if there's a good reaction to a sticker, it's usually a clip on the channel. Um, I think they're working. Um, if I if they're not, then I'm gonna be mad, and I have to go back through a bunch of vods. But I've got a, a button on my on my um, stream deck that says clip. So actually, if somebody can check, did I just make a clip? If I did, then they're working. No, I'm one short. Are you kidding? That's annoying. 
Yeah, the quartz. The quartz is real. We should probably just make a train. Not that kind of train. So the only thing that I don't like, obviously, about this train line is the, the weird makeshift station that we have going on. I have not figured out how to design a cool looking station. I don't remember how many we have left. Probably a good six. might be worth taking a trip out to the courts. So we can only make another five or six maybe. We'll see how far we get. Glad I finally did trains this time. They're cool to see zipping around. Trains are one of the most underrated, visually appealing, just old-fashioned fun things about this game. Like, whoever is on the satisfactory team that helped design trains, I think, is probably like a hobby railroad aficionado. Like, or had a parent that was into it. Like, somebody somewhere was really into trains. We actually have less to do than I thought. I almost want to put a walkway along here. <laughs> Not that we'd ever need it, but I sort of sort of want one in this moment. I feel like there's supposed to be more in here. Did I miss a marker? I did. And then so this one I pushed just a little bit farther because I thought it would look better at the bend than back here. Cosmic Dancer, thank you for being awesome. Appreciate it. Put some C6 Steve in the Discord. Loki, thank you very much. Do we have a music channel or did you have to just kind of put it somewhere, somewhere else? I've been struggling to try to find some guitar songs to play, like, on my own. They need to beep at you when they go by. It's my, it's my two cents. That would have been nice. Not a big horn, just like a little friendly beep beep, get out of the way. And then we can get rid of this. I think that's just about everything. We just have to do the other ones now. It was close. I heard it coming. It's the only thing that saved me.
Oh, come on. Okay, good. Thought I lost it. Sweet. I like it. Simple and effective. And it looks really cool from down below, too. It's the sci-fi vibe. The only thing that's missing is that we don't really have anything in the game that like creates some sort of like animation. If we did, that would be very cool. I think the problem there would be like the performance expectations and people spamming stuff that looks cool everywhere and then complaining that the game crashes, right? So I think it might be worth for completion's sake um, getting a um, design for a single. I'll have to work out what that's going to look like. Special blueprint designer. Yeah, so that white arrow in the blueprint designer, it, it points towards this, if you're ever wondering. Uh, load blueprint. Rails and block signals. We're going to save this immediately as one rail hover support. Single rail support loading platform with rail and block signal. Uh, set color. What color should we make a single? We made them blue, maybe purple. save that so it's a different blueprint and so now we should see it oh it went into the right category that's interesting I wonder if they I wonder if they fixed that in the latest update maybe I didn't update before I played yesterday mind trip media with the 100 bits in the lurk thanks ever so much really appreciate it put it in general thanks Loki that sounds awesome I will, um, all on my break, I'll see if I can remember to put a, because uh, the sun's almost down, I'll put a link to Justin Johnson. Currently at the train station in real life. Unfortunately, the trains here have way less cool in, are way less cool in game and also late. Uh, Bali, was it you that was making um, German train jokes yesterday? So I like what we did here with the walls. I think that looks kind of cool. Uh, but we need to do this with a single rail. And I think I need to do, I think I need to put a foundation in here just to kind of get my bearings. So we'll put that there. Right. So that's the height we're working on. And this is why I made this four high is because the design was, I mean, it's not quite four, but it would have been hard to design if it was any lower. And that's why it's so easy to place because we use four high concrete for all of our temporary placements. Um, so with this, I should be able to put something there. And something here. And then go from here. Probably have to delete these. Yeah. So we'll create um, same thing. Minimal, whatever the minimal thing is, like 
one and a half foundation, so six meters. Six meters, that's straight. Uh, we'll move the block signal. We are doing right hand drive, so that's in the right spot. And so obviously this is too large for what we're building. So that feels a little bit strange. Uh, so I'd like to bring this in somehow. I don't mind keeping this. There's not a lot of point because you can't see the lights, so we might move the lights out here. Um, I would like to try to keep this angle, though. I don't know how to do that without giving it a point. And I don't think I want it to have a pointy bottom. Uh, we could make this more narrow. We could make this maybe three wide with a single light. That could work. that go up so far? That was weird. That's a two meter ramp. Ah, that's still going to be way too far. Um, hmm. I really wish we had shorter ramps. I feel like that's kind of all we need, right? One foundation wide. question is how do you make it look cool angular about the same angle. I guess if we nudge this in, that could work. I find it's usually helpful when you're doing this in the blueprint designer to have this thing like off to the side that you can still pull from. You know, that's not bad. It kind of gives like a sci-fi vibe to it. We just have to put um, the beam somewhere. And it's not playing nice. Why will you not build? Oh, because you're attaching to the you're attaching to the pillar. I want you to attach to this. Mm. 
Not quite the same rotation that I want. Has to be a little bit more than that. Not far enough, but also not the right angle. Can I do this one more? I feel like that's right. Or I could rotate the beam less. Deja vu. Oh, they don't rotate at the same intervals? That's annoying. Why would you do that? Why would you not have them rotate at the same five degree interval? That's frustrating. Yeah, it's too much one way or too much the other. But if I rotate this one more, then it'll line up. Well, I guess we have to go with that then, don't we? We should put the signs on first. the hard part. And there's the break reminder. Sun's getting real low, big guy. <sighs> oh, Avengers quote, but Optimus Prime works just the same. Uh, we get to take a break train, so you guys get to ride the new, the new train line that's all decorated, at least from start to finish. Uh, thanks for the break reminder and for the 200 bits, Cosmic. That's very kind of you. Let's grab a train. And just because it was Cosmic, it'll be a pink break train. Uh, timetable. We want to go to Mirage and then Wheeljack and then save the changes and turn on self-driving folks i take a break once an hour uh time for me to refresh my coffee you should too grab a snack maybe even tell a friend that we're streaming because it is a unique time you never know whom we might be able to bring in i'll be back in five or seven minutes
I just realized that I, I could have the music going the entire time while we're playing this. Um, I find that I get sick of the playlist, but it doesn't show up on the VODs. So just general thoughts in chat as I'm trying to improve the stream. Do, would people prefer to have music while I'm playing Satisfactory in the background? Or do they think that it would be better to... We could always use the in-game music too, I guess. Or do people think it was better? it's better to have like music on the breaks and then silence on the on the stream or I say silence I mean there's obviously game sounds and everything else so that is gonna have to be I might have to bump this back Yeah, it needs some sort of fixture, of course. And that's just not quite it. Because it covers up the light. So maybe we have to do more of these walls instead. that moving on an angle that's weird huh so that looks okay it's a little weird there And we could we still go back and have like the grid the grid vibe could still be a thing yeah i don't know what it's snapping to that it goes off like that it's very strange so if that's the case we could have a solid solid this could be a space space and these were all carbon steel. Ooh, I don't know if I like that. Maybe do something else here. <laughs> How do we handle this? Won't let me zoop up, which is annoying. I find the holograms are a little bit off as well. And then maybe we just do one. Hmm. 
Yeah, I don't know about this middle part. I feel like I need to do something down here. Sandy says I like without, but that's just me and my brain. Mm. I find that I like it without too. I'm good either, either way, says Cal, though I don't mind a bit of music because sometimes one pops up. I just can't sit and vibe. I can just sit and vibe with you. Yeah, that's true too. I mean, the in-game music is, is cool. I should maybe give that at least a go sometime. The problem that I have with all of it is that it's royalty-free music, and no matter what, I always get dinged on YouTube for copyright infringement, and it's total BS. It drives me crazy. Uh, I don't know how to handle this section. I think I'm happy with this, though. So, like, I feel like we can probably do this here. going on now that's not right is that the whole right yeah that looks right I guess we can get rid of this top part too. Although that might be fun to put in a different position. And we do sort of see the tops of those. So we might want to try to figure out a way to hide that. I don't know how. That works, but will it look good later? Gets a, a little bit of detail here, which is cool. I think that's okay. So again, it's just a matter now of trying to reproduce this. We're on a new angle. And I think I had to place it on a foundation to get it to work.
looks about right. It's really hard to remember the process you go through. Yep, I say we're good. And then I don't remember what I attached that to. What did I attach the beam to? Probably the same foundation, would be my guess. Always easier the second time if you can kind of remember what's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay. Uh, carbon steel. Lights. Which I can't grab. I do find there's a lot of uh, doing and undoing, like the two steps forward, three steps forward, two steps back, three steps forward kind of vibe, which is annoying. It does make building feel a little tedious. distance. Can I attach to you somehow? I'm liking this a lot, actually. It, very, it feels very much like a transformer. Let's uh, save this before I do something dumb. So then it's just a matter of figuring out how to handle the underside here. Everything else looks good. Obviously, I've got to change the colors down here. I don't know how I feel about the single light. I think the two lights are actually decent. I think I might go back to the two lights. And I need to kind of cover up the end here with something. I wonder if even just using a sign and leaving it black would be good. A lot of quartz. And it's very black, like it's almost too black. I guess we could change the color.
It would be cool if we had something else. Oh, what about like a... These all have like beam supports and stuff. Yeah, that makes it look very terrestrial. Uh, anything else? What if I put this here, remove that, put the beam support going the other way? Oh, then it's all the same. Too much Z-fighting, although... It's not awful. Still gives me the same problem, which is the end of this thing. Not sure they knew everyone was going to go so crazy with building in this game and thought there was um, there was so much to do and undo. Yeah, no, that's fair. I think that once they introduced nudging, I feel like they should have thought about like how hitboxes were working. Yeah, whatever is happening underneath here, it needs to be a little bit different. I'm wondering if maybe we have to go back to walls and maybe do like inverted ramps or something. They just, they stick out so far. That's not terrible. I kind of like that, maybe? It's almost more detailed than what we have previously. Don't know about the signs. Very pointy. I wonder if we could use it a little bit lower. And maybe not as big. Uh, but then that sticks out there. What if we just did the same thing on top? That's the wrong angle. I did the combo. Mm. Also off center. might not be as visible once it's all dark. What do we think? The inadvertently added chisel and bits did satisfactory? Yeah, they sort of did, didn't they? So it covers up the lights, but we can we can move those. We can put those back. Right, I can put those back on here. Ah, that's tough. Let's try something else down here. Let's see if we like it.
won't let me zoop into the space, which is annoying. There we go. You know, I don't mind the other side. It's different than the other one. Maybe if we lowered these and still had the grid. Mike still had that tooth look to it. What if these were just further up? Hold on. Uh, foundations. Oh, if they're farther up, then they're going to stick out past that part. Right. Before I do this, I should get rid of these lights. And also think about what else I might want to get rid of. I guess that all has to stay. Some of it is just not visible though. It's like we can get rid of this row of stuff. Well, not really. I guess we can get rid of this. I think that stays consistent with the other design. I don't think I need to worry about the sign. I think this is probably just going to add quartz we don't have. Yeah, I think that's good. We just need to add the little track lights. First of all, I have to delete the track lights here. Those back on. It's a little angular, but 
I'm okay with it, I think. And I think I do prefer two of the little the little lights. And I don't remember how far apart they are on the other design. Good thing it's a blueprint. So there's three in between, so all you need to do is find the middle. We're good to go. And it is kind of like in the middle of that wall section. So it would be... We might have to lower them a little bit here for that to look good. Yeah. And I can just copy these settings, can't I? It's too bad we can't animate these. That would be fun. I guess I didn't need to delete that top part, but I feel like it's going to save us a bunch of entities in the long run. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So then we will do another one with um, no block support. And we'll change the color. And then we'll do one more without the rails. Give her a test. Blueprints, rail supports. And then this other one should be in between. Yep, cool. Well, that didn't take too long. I'm actually quite surprised. Clear. Delete. Now we can go finish this rail. I think that liquid biofuel might be a little OP. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying that it might be just a little, a little on the OP side. Now, I don't need block signals in here, so we should be okay with just a regular one. And I'll just grab that. Um, about right. I may want to nudge that back a little bit actually. Maybe we'll go one back. Doesn't necessarily look very good on curves. We'll have to remember that. No, no way. 
what this is going to look like. Thanks, Dan. I'm glad you like it. I like it, too. The only thing that's um, too bad is that if you save a blueprint, it doesn't apply to the blueprints you've already placed. So you have to, like, replace them. So it's you really want to, if you're going to make blueprints and you know it's going to be used over and over and over again in, in your train network, you really want to take the time to make sure it's going to work. I think that's why a lot of people that have played the game a number of times, like have started a number of different playthroughs, have such robust blueprint designs is because they've iterated and like realized what didn't work, but then they didn't want to change it because it was just like a, such a huge part of their system, you know? So this actually does start to curve there. So I think we'll try it and see what it looks like, but I've got a funny feeling I'm probably going to want to put it back here. That's just me. Don't know if it matters. I don't think we can turn these. No. Mm, I think that's okay. Yeah, that's fun. I guess the one thing I could have considered is um, instead of having the two hover pads, I could have just had the one. They almost look like they're more powerful than those ones. I guess that's the only thing. The angle is different too. They're more visible from the side. I still feel like they match, though. It looks a little bit funny where they're so close to one another, but other than that, I think it's okay. Sweet. Blast Jordan. Whoops, forgot the time. Very, very late to the stream. You're like a wizard, Blast Jordan. You're neither late nor early. But thank you. Good to see you. Actually, I should check to see where we are for plastic. We are probably out. Oh, no. We are out of... Circuit board? No. Copper sheets. Oh, we're good. Okay. Anything else over here? This is quick wire again. Some circuit boards. Maybe I don't need to do a hundred of those. Cool. Well, now that we have train supported and decorated and we have a system for that I'd like to try and look and see what we want to do for computers and what we want to do for the other construction so we've got 
I don't know if I have the other recipe for copper sheets. I think I've got steamed copper sheets. don't. Copper alloy. That's good because we can actually make, we could use extra copper with some of the stuff we've got going on. That could be easy to do. Crystal computer, no. I really should go get some more quartz. That's probably where the bottleneck is going to be. Oh, uh, wet concrete. That's the one we have. Keep that one. Um, what concrete I want to keep. So yeah. Uh, we should go get some more quartz. That will probably take us to my next break. Are both of these trucks full? I think this one's got plastic in it. It does. Uh... Oh, that has less. Turn it. Well, I guess we'll just make another one of those. The voice, welcome in. Thanks for saying hello. How are you? Okay, so we can get some quartz with that. I do feel like I've got to go the long way around sometimes to get up on these platforms. rubber there so we can take the truck to go get some quartz I can put some of this back in here or just sink it for points make sure we have enough buildables I think we're good Working from home, have a huge undertaking in the world that you're dragging your feet on. Did everything haphazardly to get to tier seven, eight, and now it's uh, all uh, catty wumpus. I have not used, heard or used that word in a long time, but I know what you mean. Oh, we might have a hard time getting off this platform. Thankfully, all of our belts are off the ground. That's good. I don't know. The last time I went out here, I had a tractor, so I'm not sure how a truck is going to fare in these forested paths. Get into our courts. Which way it is. To the left. Left turn at Albuquerque. And that reveals my age. Yeah, it's the truck is the camera is farther back than the tractor. So it's a little trickier. As far as I remember, we just stay along the water though. 
Yep. There we go. Close enough for me. How is this doing for fuel? Not bad, you know? Like, it never ran out. It's really only going to run out when this thing is running, so we've only been taking out, like, two at a time. So, I think this will be, like, probably the last time we do this. And then I'll have to set up some sort of way to get quartz back to the base. We may have to use a different node. This is just such a good... Such an easy solution because we had um, dimensional depots so early. That really wasn't that far. That's topped up, and we're good. Obviously, it's the wrong color. It's now the court struck. It's hard because the top speed is actually a little bit tricky to maneuver through here. There we go. They definitely go uphill a lot better than tractors, that's for sure. Nice. That was easy. About time, says Dan. I'm sure you're not the only one. Oh. Drive like I say, not like I drive. Okay. I don't think I have any ramps to get back up on this side, do I? I wonder if the handbrake works on this thing just like it does in the buggy. What to find out. <laughs> that worked out way better than it probably should have. <laughs> that was great. Oh, that was fun. All right, uh, we can take some of that quartz now. Move that inside. Those trucks hold a lot of stuff. It's great. Pobcak, thanks very much for the subscription at tier one. Very much appreciated. Thanks very much. Uh, and if folks want to go and check out Pobcak, they are also a streamer. We rated them last week or the week before. So you can check out Popcack on Twitch. Oh, you're welcome. You were building some really crazy things in the Blueprint Designer. We we were doing blueprinting today too. Uh, we uh, last week we designed this hover train support. So it um, it looks like the train tracks are being supported by like anti gravity stuff. And then today we made a single version, which is that one. And weirdly, the single version looks more powerful than the double version. Um, I might have to do 
a version of that with smaller lights on it, maybe. That might be something I need to do um, before I start placing a ton of those. But I do like it, and it makes uh, our very simple track suspension feel a lot more sci-fi and doable. Uh, oh, thanks. Thanks, Bob. I appreciate that. Okay, so the plan before the sun goes down is to do some math. Uh, okay, well that's that's going crazy. What's let's look at computers. Cable, which is made from copper, circuit boards, which is made from copper and plastic, and plastic. So it's really a copper and plastic combo. Um, 40 plastic per minute. We're not making 40 plastic per minute, so we'd have to increase the throughput on the train. That's not a problem. Circuit board's 10 per minute. We would have to set up a circuit board f factory to supply computers. The question, I guess, is how many computers do I actually want to make? I think I just want to make, like, two and a half. Um, how many do we need for control units two per minute yeah so five computers maybe two machines doing computers that's only uh 40 cable and 10 circuit boards i guess that just compounds the plastic it's how it's how much plastic does this actually need right so we can try using satisfactory tools for some quick Calculations, maybe? Uh, go to one dot tools, please and thank you. Calculator. I want to make computers. And I want to make five per minute. Um, items input. Copper. Iron. So we have to do crude oil. Don't actually know how much crude oil we have. That's it. That's all we need, right? Uh, Bergnot, hello. Welcome in. Oh, you had a similar design to the floating platforms? Yeah, it's fun. Um, it just it saves me like a bit of a bit of time. I guess I should look for the recipe. Um, I don't want the alt. I just want the base recipes. Why is it crossed out? I am missing something. Anybody knows what I'm doing wrong here, let me know. Copper, what's here? You're in class. Shh, don't tell anybody. We won't tell if you won't. Oh, that's what I was missing. Okay, cool. So, two manufacturers making five computers a minute. We've got iron wire. I do have the iron wire alternate. 
Copper ore, copper ingot, copper sheet, circuit board. 40 and 80, so we need 160 plastic a minute. 20 circuit boards, 40 cable. That's actually pretty clean. It's not terrible. Residual fuel, plastic, right, residual fuel, heavy oil residue. And we can make fuel to then um, fuel our, our stuff. That's actually a decent plan. 80 copper ore a minute and 40 cop iron ore a minute. I feel like we probably have that. So the reason why I bring all that up, um, and I do have to take a break now because it's nighttime, but uh, over here by the Caterium, which is where we'd want to make stuff uh, out of for AI limiters as well, um, we have, uh, there's iron kind of like around this area and then there's copper here. So I could have the train drop off plastic here and have iron and copper and caterium all in one area to make a, a building like right there. You can sort of, there's iron like right there and the copper is like down there. I feel like that's probably a pretty good shout. Actually, there's iron right up there. You can see it right at the top of the hill. And they're impure, but we don't need that much. All right. If you're new, just coming in, uh, I take a break once an hour and we get to ride a train. The break train uh, gives me a chance to reheat my coffee. Gives you a chance to grab a friend. Let them know that we're streaming. We're trying to grow the channel. So if you're having a good time, by all means, uh, let people know. I'll be back in five or seven minutes.
All right, let's see here. Get out of this. Self-driving. We could probably go check out the potential site where I want to make this. We just use the rails for now. So because AI limiters also use, I think, copper or plastic, one of the two. Can I land on this? Yep. Cool. Uh, let's look up AI limiters. Copper, right. So there's copper right down there. They're impure, but we could probably mix it with some of the iron that's up here and create a building here that could create AI limiters as well as circuit boards and computers. And somebody in chat mentioned for me to add water to this calculator. I don't normally use the calculator. I usually like to do the things on my own. Um, we should just really have, I guess, quantum coder, particle accelerator. We don't have access to blenders yet. There's no... They don't have... I guess I have to go items... Water. That was it. Machines. Yep, they don't add any water. We can work out the details, I think, later. The penguin dude, hello, hello. Uh, the calculator is really cool, Em. It, the only thing I don't like about it is that it tends to go in these like really wonky numbers. Um, I tend to round things up a little bit. So, because uh, here's the thing, like, circuit boards we'd want to make more than two because we'd want some to go into our inventory. Like we'd want to have some storage for them. So we'd have to kind of like roll back. It's a good way to start. But then I have to kind of figure out where we're going to actually do things. So we can figure that out. But um, really what I want to do, what, what I need to know now is that we need um, two smelters four constructors, five constructors. Like, you know, you just, you need to have enough machines to lay things out. So you need to kind of figure out what your space is going to be like. So that's where this comes in, where we have to think about like where we're going to put this stuff. And I feel like some of this is going to be dictated by the grid and also um, this area. So this top part here. So I think that these, this should still be on the vertical grid. So I should be able to snap a foundation to this. Relatively easy. So that's the vertical grid, but it's not going to be the world grid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this up with the tracks. And so this is probably going to be more on a two meter. And this should line up with this. So either here or four meters below there. That's going to be at least the main factory floor and we can work around some of this other stuff. 
for now, um, because I know that this should be on that grid. I'm, I'm tempted to double check this because I may just want to know. So yeah, okay. Worth the headaches later if it was off. Cool. Depending on the recipe selected, you may need water also to uh, do some later recipes. Um, but nice if you want AI limiters in there for the that Caterium node. Yeah, no, that's what I thought. It would just be a little bit easier to do it all here. Okay, so this is all going to be deleted. Uh, that is... Yeah, that's the height that I want. So I don't need this anymore. And that means that if we bring things down from a train or up to a train, they'll be on the right height. Uh, so now we get to do the fun stuff. Where's my... Chainsaw. Now I don't think some of the bigger trees I might want to keep. But most of my playthrough I've been kind of paving paradise and putting up a parking lot. I may try to keep that one. And this helps us with the biofuel too. I don't think we can do the um, the miners that high up. We might have to do something a little bit different. Maybe we can have like the miners in a pit or something. The first time I played this game, M, I also did not want to destroy any of the foliage. My first base of any great substance was in the northern forest, and I was building around trees constantly. I didn't cut anything down. I'm thinking that maybe it could be fun in here to have like a, I don't know, some sort of like little sections preserved, uh, but for now, let's do this. Oh my gosh, it actually goes on top. I was not anticipating that. That's awesome. Does it actually work? I thought this was going to be far too high. Nice. All right. Well... That's going to make this a lot easier. I've got no idea what transformer we're going to base this off of. So computers, AI limiters, and circuit boards. I mean, we already used Wheeljack in the main factory. What, what could we do here? This might be, this might end up going over the cliff for fun. A yellow one? 
I mean, Bumblebee is right color. Ooh, what about, um, hold on. What's his name? Is it Sunstreaker? Yeah, that's kind of cool. He's very, he looks very digital. Some of these are, he's a Lamborghini. That's my favorite car in Forza. It's so hard to find like actual art. There's so much fan art out there. He's got a cool head design. I like I like the black and the gold. That's cool. I don't know if they actually put Sunstreaker in the movies. Dark of the Moon, maybe? Hmm. I don't remember that. Skywarp. Is another one that says chat? Oh, Skywarp's a Decepticon. We're trying to do Autobots. Good call, but we're trying to do Autobots. And he's more purple and black. So maybe we just do a yellow transformer search. Bumblebee, a lot of Bumblebee. What is that? Not a transformer. Um, that is AI garbage is what that is. Sometimes you can get like a glimpse in a group shot. I think Sunstreaker is probably a good, good shout. We'll probably go Sunstreaker. Sometimes IDW has cool art. That's not bad. Very distinct head. I think which is which is cool. Yeah, Sunstreaker and Sideswipe were actually I uh, they were both Lamborghinis in the show, and so they made them like twins or something for story. That's a small image, but it's a cool image of Sunstreaker. Okay. I'm I'm sold on Sunstreaker. Yeah, I could work with that. Little red pops. I like it. Alright, cool. Ultimately it's still gonna have to be a factory, so we'll have to like sort out that part. Uh I can probably just pave over this. We already had the grid over here. Cool thing is we could probably pull it quite a distance this direction. Start it off as a square, maybe. And where are there's the copper down there? So chances are copper is going to happen up here. And what did that site say we needed? Uh, where's my website? Oh. 
44 iron ore. So two iron smelters. Copper, we need 80 copper per minute. That actually might be more challenging. Three smelters, four constructors. So that's going to be mostly right here, right? Because you think about a smelter. Probably going to be like three smelters going into constructors. And that's the copper sheets. So chances are we're going to be doing the smelting and the constructing on the bottom floor, and then we'll do other stuff higher up. But there's a good chance that the copper is going to come in somewhere over here. I want to try and design this with walkways and everything in mind first. That's probably the copper input. Um, it's kind of a copper color. And then we had iron on the list and that was 40 iron. Now this is going to be doing 60. So we're already in good shape. And that was two smelters and four constructors. So same idea. We'll have another two smelters and four constructors. It might be worth wrapping that around and having like smelters here as well. And then having another four constructors doing this. Again, this is all super rough. So we could take this out the other direction point it up this way and then have that goes into four and then another two so there needs to be six of those we might have to find a different spot for those and then that goes into cable and then we're into then we're into our um, manufacturer so this goes this stuff here would go right to the top floor so we could just send it that way and then take it up that could be cool and then manufacturers those things are massive I, I wonder if we could do one of those builds where it's actually bigger on top than it is in the bottom. And we have to be careful here because I don't want to be, I don't want to encroach on the tracks. I need to think about how close we are here. So I may want to, I may want to, I may even want to change the orientation. Maybe we want to line this up with the tracks, right? That could be worth doing. Camera is frozen again. Thank you. I'm not sure why that keeps on happening. Um, where do I go to fix that? This takes a refresh in OBS. It's not a camera problem because I can see the, the screen on the camera and it's fine. Uh, Cosmic was letting me know earlier that the focus pull is happening again too, and I don't know why. I, I should have all the settings correct. Am I an audiobook guy? Yes, I listened to Game of Thrones audiobooks. They were fantastic. So yeah, I might actually... The fact that these guys spawn in here it drives me nuts. 
I may want to change this direction. I may want it on this grid. Because we're going to have to have a train exit and come into a station. So it might be cool to have that on the same path. It's also going to be a lot easier to try and fit this. Um, alongside of this if I don't have to cut off a corner. Yes. I feel like that could be better. How much space do we want to give the track? I see you coming, Mr. Train. I'd say that's good. Minimum. I wouldn't want to be any closer, I don't think. Let's ride the train and see. Yeah, I think that's a little close, so we'll stick it here. So that cuts, that changes this design a lot. One thing that's nice about this game is how quickly you can change things. I had roughly the right size though. What was this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's just go with nine for fun. Oh no, the tree. Whatever will we do. We might have to go. I really enjoy being in a part in the game where I can be creative and I'm not like always hamstrung by not having the right amount of stuff. I can probably just use a wall here. This is where it's helpful to have done this with blueprints because it would be a lot faster to delete. Is this uh, one, two, three, four, five?
should have some blueprints for this. Why it's not snapping, I don't know. I found this earlier when we were trying to work on the trains is that the blueprint snapping is really fussy and it's not a good experience. It never used to be this bad. You have to do so much nudging and tweaking that it just doesn't make sense. I also don't remember making that green. That might be from my other playthrough, actually, now that I think about it. Okay, so that just changes the orientation of everything. Um, this gives us an edge, which I like. Probably going to move that to there. Could go farther if we need to. Could come out this way if we need to. We could. Pro we'll probably end up, you know, um, having some sort of angled build that encompasses those nodes. And I might as well get the other miner in here as well. We don't need it, but I'd like to know where it is. Over here somewhere. to move this I think these need arrows in the bottom of them to show you where they're pointing Happy accident that the train tracks ended up being higher than the power lines. Okay, so we can bring in the copper here. So this is probably going to be factory floor. I guess we may want to do logistics underneath everything. Do we want to do that underneath there? No. Don't know if we need that much space. I also want to make sure that this place has got like a decent entrance. And stairwell. I don't know if it's going to be there, but we want to have like, uh, when you're building like this, how do you know everything is going to fit? I did a rough layout earlier and I'm sort of basing it off of that. 
also realize I've got some stuff in this production to do list that I don't need. Hey, we're done that. Nice. Yeah, we're done that. So it would be cool to be able to come in and go immediately upstairs if we needed to. And something I never remember to do is include like stairwells in my build. in immediately available go upstairs if you need to I might want to add a little bit of depth to that wall now that is not enough room to do a constructor so this is just gonna be logistics I think um, but this would also help with um, I mean we could fit a constructor I guess if we really wanted to be stingy on space but what could happen here is maybe we do the smelting down here. The smelting is boring. It really doesn't look all that cool. Oh, that sticks out through the ceiling. Uh, could we utilize that maybe? See, what we could do is have like a uh, mezzanine so we could have the smelting happen. Um... And then have the stuff come up here to the second floor to be constructed. I know I'm still currently building a box, but sometimes you just have to... Have you ever played Space Engineers? No, I haven't. I've heard about it. I think somebody else has asked me that before, too. Yeah, so this would be just the logistics. But we would maybe leave... We could probably fit the smelting and stuff in here. So what I'm thinking is that we have to smelt copper and iron. Uh, iron, I've got a special recipe that will turn it into wire. Um, so we could do the smelting in this open area here. And then rather than sending it up to this floor, we could send it into a logistics area here, which would be really cool to look at when you walk in, right? Like imagine if we had windows here maybe. Right, and then this would be the logistics for a bunch of constructors all doing stuff. And then we would have the space here. And this, I guess this doesn't have to be this high either. We could lower this if we wanted to. It's just that it works out so well with the stairwell, right? I tend to not build big enough in this game most of the time. And then we'd have stuff like, like this here. Maybe I'll get rid of that for now. And then we would have... You know, a bunch of stuff moving around and going up pipes and things and I think that could work 
And I need... Two smelters for iron and three smelters for copper. I mean, the copper we could smelt down there, really, and send up here. So we don't have to smelt it here, but we could. Right? And I have a rough smelter thing there. Actually, bump this down. When I see this stuff, what I think about is like having at least a foundation to walk around. Right? Do I have a decent yellow? I do. primary yellow. I actually used this, um, I used Sunstreaker's colors to make the two yellows. Pretty cool. Or yellow and an orange, I should say. Did I finish work early? Yes, says Cosmic. Do I also spend the last 30 minutes watching stream and not working? Also, yes. You're not supposed to tell people. Um, if you're talking audiobook recommendations, I would recommend that Bobbyverse. Uh, the first one was We Are Legion. Very cool. I'm reading a long way to a small insignificant planet. I can't remember the full name of it. I think it's Becky Chambers. It's good. It's fun. It's very, very Firefly esque. So I think this is enough room up here for like the rows of six or eight constructors that we need. Again, keeping the idea of the mezzanine. These could obviously be pointed the other way. Now it won't let me place it. Don't actually need both of these, but mm -hmm. it's more than enough room to do the smelting. We actually could probably run the copper all the way down and have the copper copper smelting could actually be done down here too. Almost line up, or do they? Oh, it's pretty close. That was a little bit further back, I think. And that's where you can come in with cool stuff like this. I have like a sectioned off area.
four constructors and a fifth doing cable. So probably these ones here. We can fit all five in a row. And then I need four more constructors. I need eight refineries. This is going to be really hard to do. So with enough room for like fancy belt stuff. I feel like these being over here is probably a good idea. Gives enough room for mergers and stuff. And we don't even have to do that up here. We could this we could do this down below too. Like all of that could be down here. Which saves us even more space. Unless we want to do the logistics floor above it and you can walk in to look at the constructors doing their things and have everything sent up. That's, I could do that too. I always seem to want to put the logistics floor below, but you can put them above too. Usually I have a YouTube video on stream while working. My brain is strange. I need something to take up a bit of my attention, says Valet. Yeah. Yeah, I can do that sometimes. If I'm writing emails or doing something like that, I can't listen or watch anything. But if I'm just like playing a game or doing some behind the scenes stuff, then yeah, I can do it. The Long Way to the Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers. Well, at least I got the the author right. It's really well written. I quite enjoy it. Uh, it's taken me a long time to finish it just because I don't have a lot of time to read, but I do like it. I like being able to see this from this floor. I think that's kind of cool. I feel like we could maybe do a little something like this. Kind of fun. There's lots of room here. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure what I would like. I want to roll this out. But I feel like that's the second floor pretty much done, right? Like, we don't have a lot of extra room. The only thing I could think of would be circuit board. I need three assemblers, but assemblers are massive. And I don't think I could fit three here. It's not so much the assemblers, it's the space that you need to load them. That's the problem. I mean, not impossible. Those would be making circuit boards. I wonder if we have enough room to line them up like lengthwise.
don't think so. Not really, no. Do two, but not three. I'm surprised we can fit all three in here, though. And that would be taking parts from... Plastic and copper sheets. So this would be taking something from the train station. So maybe the assembler should be closer to the train. Although I guess if we... if I'm thinking we pull the train onto the roof just because... Um, Sunstreaker has such a unique head shape. We might be able to have the train kind of nestle. Like he's got this cool, I mean, that's a morbid picture, but he's got these cool like fan things on his ears. But like if the, t if the roof of the building, I'm not, can you see my mouse? You can, sweet. So if the roof of the building had um, this sort of shape, this kind of like, C shape to it. We could have the train station in this space, kind of like where his head is, and have these kind of come off the sides. That could be kind of fun. I find that the Transformers' heads are really unique, and then the bodies tend to all look the same, just different colors. So I try to take more inspiration from their head shapes than I do anything else. That's a cool image, too. Man, the comic artists that draw these Transformers, the amount of draftsmanship you have to have to draw these angular robots all the time just crazy so we have to go up another floor anyway uh and i'm thinking that we're probably gonna have to go up three this time and this is where the manufacturers are gonna live But it would make sense to have any kind of like moving parts that might be coming down from outside the building on this side where you could see it going back and forth on the train. That could be kind of fun. Man, whenever I feel in buildings like this, I get deja vu on the giant platform I had to make for Devastator. It took forever. It took forever. Then up here is going to be two manufacturers, which are giant monsters. And I have to figure out how to make these look cool. But they're both making the same thing, so we could at least like face them towards each other. Man, these things are big. But they sort of have that same shape too, you know? That that ear shape that Sunstreaker has. Now you have to figure out like where I want the front of this building to be, and I kind of feel like we could make. Hmm. I don't know whether we make it this way, right? That C shape, or whether I have the front that shape be on this side. Oh, if I do that, then I'm going to be I'm going to be restricted this way. Yeah. Okay. The train is still going to have to come in this way. So, I'll have to figure that out. Anyway, looks like it's time for a break. The sun's going down. Oh, can I just can I ride you? I'm going to want to ride you. I almost got it. Ugh. Sweet. Uh, I'm going to step away for five or seven minutes, folks. Uh, grab another drink. Uh, you can grab a friend, let them know that we're streaming. I will be right back.
right. It feels really good to have a finished looking train line, that's for sure. I'm almost out of coffee. Thank you, Cosmic. Thank you, Blast Jordan. A slug or a Mercer sphere up there? I thought it was a purple slug. I don't know. I may be building this a little close. I may want to back this up a bit. I think maybe one more foundation. Although I guess it doesn't have to go straight up the next level. We could always come in here. Make sure it has some depth. Maybe this is where we can add the ever-needed windows. It's always so dark. Pushes it back a little bit from the train, too. Interesting. Um, so we'd still have to have the train come in at some point, and we we're at that level here. So I'm not sure where the train... We could either do it on the back. Train stations are huge. I don't want to put the train at this level. Like, I kind of want to come in with the train here. So we don't have to have the train go up and down. And maybe the train could go in the middle of the building rather than on top of it. That could be kind of fun. And the cool thing is that if um, Sunstreaker's head is a little bit wider at the ends in the middle, then we can extend it to accommodate the train, and it'll be okay. Where's the middle? I think it's an eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one, two, three, one, two right there. So if we had a train platform here, mm -hmm. oh right, you have to actually attach this to something. I wish you could just kind of build those on their own. Be a nice placeholder. So we could have the train come through the middle, but then like, where do we make, where do the manufacturers go? Right? We've got room for train logistics, sort of. But then the manufacturers have to go somewhere. Maybe they can go off the back here. Hmm. I want to showcase the stuff moving around. So maybe we have to do something a little bit different.
Hmm. Yeah, this, this thing just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. I also have not even thought about the AI limiters and how many of those I might want to make. Uh, they are... Basic recipe. Five copper sheets. I wish this gave us, like, I guess it's 20 and 100. I wish it gave you the number that you wanted. Right. 25 and 100. 25, yeah. 25 and 100. We'd have to add more copper sheets to the to the constructors. So there need to be more constructors, but we have room for that. Uh, the assemblers, that would mean... How many AI limiters do I want to make? What are they even used in? I think they're just building parts, right? Well, I'm not worried about electromagnetic control rods right now. Yeah, I only need like one constructor, one assembler. So four assemblers is what we need. I wonder if I can add that to this list. Yeah, I totally can. And I need to add machines, deuterium ore, so separately, this is such a strange way they handle this website. I wish that it would be easier to move. 60, so two more smelters, two more constructors, and one more assembler. I mean, that's doable. Especially if we expand out this way. Assemblers, I think we can fit four here. The problem is fitting all the belts and stuff. Although, again, we have... I keep on forgetting I have all this space. So this could very easily be here. I'm not trying to make this compact. Oh, thank you. Hey, we can see better without the website. <laughs> Thanks, Cosmic. Uh, appreciate that. Sorry about that, folks. I knew it was going to happen eventually. Uh, thank you for the 200 bits, Cosmic, and the reminder. <laughs> uh, so all I did was add a constructor on the end here and figured out if I could fit four assemblers in there, which I can. Um, it's just not going to be... Like, and again, I could expand this farther this way. This is knock down some trees. And we could also expand it farther this way. Um, so this top floor could be bigger. So then the question that just becomes like, where do the manufacturers go that receive all these things? And I'm not crazy about the miners here. We'll have the smelting happen here, I guess. So there would be like a train line that would come out this way. I'm not sure what the easiest way to do that would be. 
probably three. About that way. Depends on how many cars we need. I feel like I could do the manufacturing there. Or we could do the manufacturing on either side of the train. I'm just trying to make this look symmetrical somehow. A message from the dark side. You have 30 minutes left. Do with this information what you will. <laughs> also, join us. We have cookies. Cookies? I have no snacks. I need groceries desperately. There's nothing to eat in the house. I'm going to make a very sad grilled cheese for lunch before I go out and drive my folks to the airport. And then I got to go to the gym, and then I'm going to go to... Um, the, the grocery store right afterwards, which I know is a dangerous combination. So I need, I'll also need smelters along here. I mean, we could also smelt the stuff over there too. I think it might be worth adding more of a Caterium facility over there. So we don't have to do it in here. Uh, I think the issue is these these miners are really throwing me. I could just not use the nodes. It's it's such a weird thing in this game. You want to utilize everything. I could just not use those. I could use some of these and just bring stuff up into there and then have the manufacturers right there. I might even have iron being already smelted. It just seems like a silly thing to bring it from Wheeljack all the way over here. I don't know what else I would use it for, though. Kelberty, that's a fun emote. Desperate times call for desperate measures. I added a little... Um, sticker like that emote blast jordan it's like a cat that does like the mouth popping noise i think it's called pop cat kel says thanks to these stickers i have had it in my head that, that claptrap is sitting here with chat watching along with us i will not be be convinced otherwise i really like the claptrap one uh the cortana one is really good so is the master chief one I thought I was going to get hit by a train, but it's that. I didn't realize that um, the moth was uh, translucent. When he goes underneath the sun, you can see right through him. It's cool. Oh, what do I want to do here? We need to put the manufacturers somewhere. I guess it would make sense to have the manufacturers here. Have the smelters happen elsewhere. Could line the smelters up along the back, maybe. And then I guess for the front, it's going to be a slightly asymmetrical entrance. Unless I use this as the middle, which I could do. But the idea with Sunstreaker and is the way that he's designed. What I'm hoping to do is something along the lines of this.
So something like that could be kind of cool. Especially if we can change the angle a bit too. I realize we've got a very similar shape on top of wheel jack, but transformers tend to have that kind of stuff going on. So we could have some cool fins like that on the top, and then the train could like exit between them. I think that could be kind of fun. I do I do approach these builds very much like a drawing. I tend to do a sketch first. Why can I not jump? all black and orange. So this is real rough, but you get the idea. Plus with all the yellow highlights, that could be kind of fun. So imagine that on the other side as well, creating like this kind of like, it's almost like the top of um, Baradur in Lord of the Rings. Yeah, the real question is just a matter of like, where am I going to put the um, manufacturers? I feel like this would be a good space for them. And that way we would have everything that's being produced kind of coming towards this end, which makes sense. The question is, where do we put the... Um, smelters. Maybe we put the smelters for most of the stuff near the miners. You know, like maybe we put the smelters down there. House of Mesa, hello, how's it going? Hopping in with her lurk. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, Cosmic, thank you for the shout out for House of Meza. Folks, if you're looking for another satisfactory streamer to check out, uh, I think uh, Meza, you do a bunch of different things. But right now, I think it's mostly satisfactory. But folks could go check out House of Meza on Twitch. Cheers. I'm not going to get where I want to today with this, I don't think. You just forget how big everything gets when you get into trains. Let's just, for the sake of argument, get rid of this. Can I fit these in here?
think I can. I don't want to, but I may end up destroying those trees. I wonder if I could just take a lot of this and like push it down. That might be another thing to do too. The entrance could certainly move down. We could just destroy. I don't care about destroying all these trees. And then we could use that iron if we needed to. Or we could use the iron in the middle and have enough room for the manufacturers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six. So, oh, one more. Yeah, plus two of that would be like design wall stuff. Yeah, that might work. Sometimes I want to mess with um, even builds, and sometimes I don't. I think it's like my Minecraft brain really wants to build on odd numbers of foundations. Grab this. Yeah. Need to back up. Let's see what this looks like from really far away. It's uh, satisfactory in Minecraft mainly. 
Um, how's the world getting along? Oh, it's good. Yeah, uh, we've got our starter factory is is uh, looking sharp, very functional. Uh, that's pretty cool. I think that's the shape that I want for that. I think that's that's what I'm looking for. So we will have to just kind of go with the fact that the the impure iron nodes there are not precious to us. Yeah, we've got a big smelter providing iron for all kinds of stuff. Uh, this starter factory is basically copper free. The only thing we needed copper for was the manual. Um, Cosmic, you have to stop passing me these messages. I'm not your mouthpiece. <laughs> it's so good. Sigh. <laughs> Cosmic said you have 15 minutes left. Oh, what? that's what. No, Cosmic, I will not make noises like an alarm clock. Oh, that's, that's good. I feel like sometimes the the way you type things in, they put like extra long pauses in there, like two dots versus three dots versus commas. But like that is that's classic. <laughs> really, really well done. Um, thank you for the heads up, Cosmic. I appreciate it. Yeah, we're not gonna. The sun's not gonna go down before the end of the stream. Um, yeah. So Meza, this is going pretty well. This is all just making parts. Uh, then we've got the um, kind of like attic part up here with the hub and the awesome sink. And it's not very nice up here, but everything down here is feeling pretty organized. We're not automating everything. Uh, we have heavy modular frames are automated, but everything computer and plastic related is manual. I've got a couple of bins out the back that are just getting, getting plastic and rubber. Cal, sometimes the pauses are funny, yeah. So I've got a couple of temporary bins of plastic and rubber over there. Uh, and that's all coming in from the East Coast. West Coast, sorry. Uh, but what we're going to be doing is having an offshoot here and having a proper amount of plastic go into this computer factory. So, but I like this. I think that's kind of a fun, fun shape. I think that's different than anything else we've done so far uh, it's just gonna be a matter of figuring out like how are we going to put everything together but I think having the manufacturers here would be good and I think maybe we need to think about the space here one two three four five six seven eight that needs to be different this is the middle At least the middle of the top floor. Three, four. Yeah, I think we have to go to nine. Which may mean that tree is going to go. That or we could tuck it into seven, but I don't know if we can fit that. Because these things are just so big. Like, I feel like we need at least this amount of space in front of it, right? And then we've got one, two, three, four. I think if we had that walkway back, this would be a cool spot to have to look down. Like I'm trying to think about all of this at once and it's it, it gets more challenging. Because as, as big as this factory is, like I just, I keep on running out of space. Then we have to have like a 
whole bunch of different things happening here. Because you can only do... I mean, the good news is they're both making the same thing. So what we could have here would be, like, splitters. But we'd have to do, like, alternating. So, like, it would have to be, like, there. And then it'd have to go up higher, but farther down. That could be what we have here going down in each machine. Uh, or I could put these up on this level and have all of that happening below. That might be also a nice way to do it. It'll give us a lot more room. I do like the idea of a mezzanine though and not having this all be completely closed off. I feel like between these big de decorative like design pieces that would be windows in between each one so like there So you could easily have like a nice big window there. Cool view. We don't have a lot of room for logistics for the train. I don't think a bin, well, it will fit, but will it fit without clipping? Probably not. No. So for this, we might actually have to like remove this and put the double bin that might have to be up on top here so that provides some design challenges too I mean, it's really only plastic that's coming in, so we could also rotate it and have it tucked inside the wall, too. It might be two cars. I'm not sure how long the train's going to be. Yeah, there's a dra dramatic pause or three in there for sure. I also got to be careful that I don't clip this guy. Right on. So, just so everybody's on the same page... Uh, what's happening here is we are bringing in copper and iron from uh, I think the iron is gonna have to come in from down there and that's getting turned into wire and cable the copper is getting turned into sheets copper sheets all along here uh, those copper sheets are being combined with uh, plastic to make circuit boards except for this one this is going to be caterium and plastic to make ai limiters the ai limiters are just being stored and then these two guys are going to be making computers from the plastic coming in from the train at the top and the wire uh, sorry the cable and the um circuit boards so we're going to have a little bit of circuit boards going into storage and the rest of it's going to go in here. Um, actually, that reminds me. The overflow for the storage will have to happen like over here somewhere. So at some point, perhaps like along here, we'll have like an overflow to storage. It's a good actually. I thought about that. So before things get in there, they'd have to go to storage. Now the good news is we have a lot of room down here. So I could make this as tight as I want. Um, I don't even have to export out here. Uh, it would actually make more sense for these to be exported and then brought right along the bottom here because um, 
it's just going to come down and go into this section anyway. So there'll be a little bit of maneuvering, I think, to get things working. Um, but the cool thing is when you walk in, you'll be looking at this logistics floor and it's going to be pretty busy. And we've done this before where we've left the logistics floors visible from a distance, either through an open window or through an open um, hole. So I think this is going to look cool in through here. It's a decent rough draft for a factory. So if you're new to the game and this is how you play, um, let me know. Um, but if you're also struggling and you're new to the game, I think that remembering that nothing is precious and you can just delete stuff super fast, rough things out, throw in your machines, and then just make sure you're leaving lots of room. And I even here in this build, I thought I had lots of room. I quickly ran out. I feel like I could very easily have made this bigger and give myself a little bit more flexibility. I do have some room over here that I can work with, uh, but we'll see. I'm someone that really likes axes. So like the fact that the train comes in here, that the main construction thing is all on an axis here, like that that's something that I like in design. Um, you don't have to stick to that if you don't want to. It gives you more flexibility. Um, we are definitely gonna need all of the space underneath here for the assemblers because these guys are a pain in the butt but having a good seven meters of um, floor space down here should be good so i think on the next stream we'll be focusing on the logistics of this and really trying to figure out where things are going but i'm really happy with the train uh the the levitating train very very cool i think we've come uh, a long way on that, although the way that the trains are rendering in lately is not great. But it's very cool. I also like the little um, single that we des designed as well. It actually feels more powerful than the double now. I don't want to go back and redesign it, but I do, I do like that. It probably would be better to redesign this one to look less powerful than to redesign those ones, because those ones, of course, are everywhere. And it would be not impossible to, to replace, just a pain in the butt. But anyway, uh, I'm going to pass you along to somebody else streaming Satisfactory. So let's just let me see who's live. And we'll sort out what's going to happen next. So I have got to mosey. Right. Who is live? Let's see. The wrong tab. Uh, Wolf Mac Wolf Mac is live. Wow, that's been a long time. We haven't rated them in a long time. Um, yeah, I'd say that sounds good. Sounds good to me, I believe. Doesn't say anything about um, adult streaming, but just in case you have a small human on your lap, just be aware. Um, thanks again for all of the the support today, uh, for the lovely chats. And uh, I know it's a bit of an odd stream uh, and stream time for me, but it's just one of those things where I've got other stuff to do. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow at one o'clock. That's UTC minus three hours more satisfactory. Uh, you can check out things like the Citadel Cafe podcast, the Spawn Trunks podcast, and my guest spot on the Imp and Skiz podcast, all on YouTube or your favorite podcasting app. They're very easy to find. I'm Joel Duggan across social media, and you can find me on Patreon at Joel Duggan if you'd like to join the Discord or support the stream for less than a cup of coffee a month. And I really appreciate it. Cosmic, thanks for being here for the modding. I know it's the middle of your day, uh, but it was very, very kind of you. And uh, thanks for all the stickers. They're so much fun. Uh, I'm glad everyone's enjoying them. I will see you folks tomorrow. I do have to raid and run, so I will not be able to hang around and say hello to Wolf Machina, uh, but I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.